And in case you missed it tonight, the Chambers County Sheriff's Office welcomed a new member to the team today. Meet Stark, a canine donated by the Shane Detweiler Foundation, which is dedicated to the memory of Sheriff's Deputy Shane Thomas Detweiler. Detweiler was killed in the line of duty, and now the foundation named in his honor provides equipment to help law enforcement agencies in Chambers County. And the search for three-year-old Lena Keel continues. New organizations are now stepping in to help Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar. He's even joined in on horseback along with Search and Rescue SATX. And Alamo Search and Rescue, they've also done multiple searches at the apartment complex where Lena disappeared using specialized canines. The canine is the one doing the work. Uh, they're trained to look for um, live find. Uh, we have a couple of bloodhounds that we use. They get a scent article uh, from the uh, individual's uh, family. The group plans to search all day today. When asked about potential suspects, Chief McManus says they're looking at some people but couldn't go into more detail. And the proposal for a bullet train from Dallas to Houston has run into a few speed bumps. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is appealing to the state Supreme Court to deny eminent domain to the train developer. This will block the purchases of property from ranchers along the path of the route. Paxton says the company constructing the route doesn't have those privileges because it's not an official railroad.